What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another Rad Movie Review today as now we are going to talk about Abigail, yes, the latest addition to the vampire subgenre. This is a new horror film that dropped this year. I didn't get a chance to go to the theaters to see this one, but I ordered it on the TV and man, was this quite the roller coaster of gore and charismatic characters. It was off the charts. So today we're going to talk about my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. Abigail is a new horror movie. Yes, this falls into the vampire subgenre as we are following some charismatic characters that are kidnapping a young girl who is the daughter of a very rich man, they are told. And they basically have to hold her up at this really nice mansion for about like 24 hours overnight. They have to hold her up there overnight, keep her there, and wait for the information if they're going to get the money and stuff. And they come to find out that this little girl is not who they say she is and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty wild. Like, you know, like this one, in terms of positives right off the bat is that the cast like oh my god the cast we must talk about them melissa brera we have kevin durand we have dan stevens katherine new and even angus cloud in here rest in peace i believe this was the last film he was in before he passed away also alicia weir who plays abigail fantastic like all across the board every one of these characters is charismatic they're interesting they get time to shine like literally all these characters get time to shine and alicia weir was fantastic as abigail like she really stood up to all the adult actors like you know just brought it just as much as every single one of them another fantastic thing about this movie is the gore effects are really cool i like the fact that the blood in here looks really legit like realistic it's not that giallo very bright colored red blood or anything like that that looks almost like paint it's you know very thick dark and like you know deep red and black colors and even some of the stuff they go about with the vampire lore and all the rules that they have in this film there's a few different things that they get to play around with this film so I think that's interesting too you know because that that happens when you were talking about vampires and werewolves and like all th things that have been around for a long time in the horror space <clears throat> it's sometimes hard to introduce new ideas or new lore into the subgenre and I think this film does a pretty legit job of introducing some new lore and stuff like that. And just, oh man, like I said, this film has a nonstop pace too, which is really fun. It just grabs you and like I said, basically like a roller coaster. That's how I described it in my letterbox review because it just grabs you right from the beginning and it doesn't stop until you get to that third act. And like I said, I really love the fact that there's such good cinematography. The characters are wild and crazy and it definitely has that radio silence feel because this is the same team radio silence that brought us ready or not so it definitely has that feel to it so if you're into films like that that are just balls to the wall crazy plenty of gore and charismatic characters this is going to be right up your alley i also really enjoyed the music cues the music numbers in here they really used the whole ballerina thing because our abigail our young vampire girl she's a ballerina and that comes into play in multiple aspects in this movie and i think it's done fantastically specifically a scene with her and katherine newton they do a fantastic job with that scene and the special effects the makeup effects are creepy they're realistic the practical effects are off the charts so really this film just has all the horror candy that i love to just eat it's like really it's full of all kinds of stuff that i adore about horror movies and also the fact that this is a vampire movie and vampire films werewolf films frankenstein a lot of that stuff is coming back now so i really think a lot of the og universal monsters and the lore from back then like creature from the black lagoon and invisible man the mummy all those kind of films we're going to be seeing a lot more horror films that are taking homages and you know calling back to those movies so i'm very excited and like i said abigail i believe this one's actually also based on dracula's daughter from the 1940s i believe it's from the 1940s or 50s this is based Based on another movie loosely it's not directly uh, direct uh, remake but it's loosely based off of that film now let's get into some of the mixed and negatives because there I did have some problems with this film and mainly it did all happen in that third act so when we get to the third act there's just certain character motivations and certain character choices that I don't really understand or don't make sense so that's what kind of sucks and also like it just happens in that third act like I feel like they almost got to a point where they didn't know how they were going to end it. 
it kind of feels that way. Like in the last about 12 minutes of the film, like they didn't really know where they were going to end it. And it just kind of goes off the rails a little bit. You know what I mean? Like the roller coaster. So no pun intended, but that's what I mean. Like it just fell apart a little bit in the last 12 minutes. Also, what I did not dis also dislike about this film is that we have a character that shows up in the third act as well. I don't want to spoil it. And it's not really like, I, I don't know, it just wasn't as exciting or as potent or as amazing as I thought it was going to be. Another negative I have with this film is the power gap. There is a certain power gap and certain things that happen in this film that it just, it, they, they, the rules that they set and certain things that they display about a certain character and you portray her as unstoppable and she's a vampire and just the things that she does throughout the film. And then when we get to a certain point in the film, it just, it like the power gap doesn't make sense. It really, it's like they kind of forgot for a moment. They were like, oh no, she, like we have to have a third act. So certain things have to happen and they, they just kind of stepped on their own footing and broke their own rules that they set in the movie. So yeah, there's a few things, like I said, the third act, I really don't think they knew how they were going to nail down that final end. But overall for Abigail, like I said, I had a blast. Like this is definitely a film I would return to and one that I really, really do regret not watching it in theaters because this would have been an absolute blast. Like I would have had a ton of fun for real. Like I would have been on the edge of my seat. That's how good it is because these characters, the story, it's gripping, it pulls you in, it's fun. There's exciting moments, there's funny moments. Like in this, I wouldn't classify this as straight up a horror, horror film. It's not scary, but it's gruesome and bloody. And it's got a really good vampire story like and the young actress in it fabulous she's fabulous so yeah for real this film abigail in my book for a rad rating is gonna get an 8 out of 10 that's a very solid 8 out of 10 a strong rating this is one that i highly recommend uh renting or buying like i said if you haven't seen this film i'm gonna go scoop this up i'm gonna try to like i said i ordered it on the tv but this is definitely one that i would love to own in my collection Thank you for sticking around with me all as we chatted abigail please let me know down below in the comments section have you seen this film what are your feelings on it are you excited is the vampire genre finally revitalized because we've got some decent films coming out recently like renfield we got last voyage of the demeter now we have abigail so i really do feel like the vampire genre is kicking again but like i said let's discuss down below please like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime i post a video but most importantly have a safe and happy day peace out